So welcome back to another episode and taking advantage of Jay Hoot being here, we decided to get together and grab a couple of porks here. You know, give my pork a little kiss. And we went out for Force Friday uh, here in Vancouver. And what we do is every couple of years for the main Star Wars films, we go out for Force Friday and do some shopping. Uh, they release everything at midnight. But we decided to shoot a little bit of a documentary and show what we did earlier in the day leading up to Force Friday and Force Friday. And it's a lot of fun. What did you think of Force Friday this year? It was ridiculous. So it's going to be a bit of a quest. Uh, you're going to come with us on this little journey and you're going to see how all the day went out. And we went to like four Walmarts and a Toys R Us and mass hysteria. So we'll start off as we got up early in the morning and we went to the very first Walmart. And that was a bit of a bust. We had some high expectations. We kind of walked in and we looked around and what did we even find at that I, first one? I think one? we just found one little Kylo Ren ship. Yeah, some but, Hot Wheels But we stuff. were excited because it was it was out. It was like, oh my god, that's a, a new toy. I but know. it was like kind of, oh, it's a Hot Wheels toy. Yeah, and we were looking, the, all the, the figures should have been there, but they're not put out yet. Yeah. And we found some Force Awakens Lego. We're like, okay, this is a major bust. And we were really excited. We didn't know if we would find anything. And we were looking around. We looked for t-shirts. Couldn't even find that. And we're like, screw it. Let's get out of here. There was nothing at that Walmart. A complete bust. The next Walmart we walk into, we kind of like, oh, we're gonna see the same thing. Yeah. So we're walking the aisles, we're looking. There's not, there's, there's nothing. Again, yeah. there's nothing. But then all of a sudden, he looks down. I couldn't believe it. I look down and I see one of the vehicles from Canto Bite. It was nuts. Canto Bite. One day early, guys. This is the day before. I cannot believe I just found this. This is fucking amazing. Is this one of the guards for Canto Bites? Is it? Yeah, Canto Bite, please. Let's get a close up of that. Wow. Unbelievable. Now you have to understand, this is this is leaked before the midnight. Yes. So this is in the middle of the day. So Walmart can get fined as though, yeah, they're ever going to drop Walmart no, I know, as a distributor. I know. That's not going to happen. What did you do? I know, but all the people are going to line up tonight, you know, you know, that night to get this Force Friday stuff. And we're finding it early. It's really like finding a pot of gold if you find something. But there was a problem. We start walking to the <laughs> counter and you start saying, hey, can you even buy this stuff? Well, it's crazy because I know how that works, and you scan things, and it might say can't sell it or something. Yeah, until it, after it's a certain date. Yeah, and I'm like, we have to, like, we just let's see, let's see what happens here. So we find out we could buy it. We walk out. It was a great success. So we get on the highway. We're on a super high. We're on our way to the third Walmart. My expectations at this point is we found a vehicle. A 3.75 vehicle. I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. And I'm thinking at this point. You know, things happen in threes. We're gonna find something so crazy in here. So we go in the store and we're filming it. We're excited. We're like, we're gonna see something crazy. Nothing. Absolutely. Literally. It was the worst disappointment walking around and it's like, man, after finding that, it was like the best thing in the world. And it was like bare bones and all the old Force Awakens stuff. It was like, it was like so sad. It was like the toys that didn't sell and it was on clearance. It was like, get it out of the way for tonight. And then all of a sudden, Okay, this is so stupid. We just, we're over here. We're like, okay, there's nothing else left in this entire Walmart. Walking out, I walk around the corner and there's like every oh, fucking action. Just show them. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, Luke. <laughs> Dude, you're getting it early. Oh my God, Kylo Ren. Oh my God. Fucking, you got fucking everything. And you even got Chewie and the Porg going on. Oh. It's fucking amazing. They got like every figure, man. Oh, damn, run. This is All insanity. Holy... Has it been picked through? Like, what's no, in here? No, nobody's. Dude, I got a fucking like a Luke. Like, I think are you sure these... we're not going to another one? I. This it's is tempting. Pretty, this is pretty amazing. Okay. I, I gotta get some of this. Absolutely. This is insanity. This is insanity. Look at this, guys. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Walking around that corner, everything had leaked. All of the figures were right there in front of us and nobody had taken anything. I couldn't believe it. What was crazy though is we'd walked right by this display like idiots because I was filming so I'm looking at the lens going, okay, we got it, it's cool, let's get this excitement, we're yeah. gonna find everything and we walk right by the shelf like idiots. Yeah, well I didn't think there'd be anything there. We walked by and it's like, yeah, the normal Star Wars shelf, nothing. 
And then all of a sudden, I kind of, we were leaving, we were disappointed, and I looked, I peeked, I'm like, what the hell is <laughs> yeah. this? Like, my God. It was like the, it was truly, it's like these things don't happen to people. No. No. It's just absurd that you turned around and everything is there. Yeah, it was a really cool moment. So we've been to three different Walmarts. First one, something small. Second one, bit bigger with a vehicle. Third one, whole collection. Fourth one, we're crossing our fingers, we get a vehicle. We just want to get like a, the new the TIE big, Fighter, oh. the Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter would be really good to get. And then that's pretty much it. That's all I really want to get out of this, for sure. So we'll see, man. We'll see what we get. Cross fingers. I think at this point we pushed our luck a little too much <laughs> for Walmarts. And can I, I can't believe how close all these Walmarts are to each other. They're all like 10 to 15 minutes away from each other. Let me just say my idea was like we started small little ship. Next was the bigger ship. Yeah. Next was the whole like wave of toys. Next we were like we want we want Kylo Ren's ship to be there. Yeah. It I, didn't happen. No, that was absolutely it was like, not we there. Got, we got so cocky. We were, get anything we want. And then we walk in, we have absolutely nothing. And it was so just like, oh, okay, this is the end. You know, and it's funny, then we came home and we find out that the Force Friday is happening in Langley. We find uh. the exact location. They've never had it there before. And we were so tired. We're like, well, we got, you know, a bunch of things. We're happy. It like, literally was, we were like, oh, really? Like, do we want to go to this? And wait six hours in line? And we're going to go hours. all the way. Because it's like 35 minutes out there. We got to wait six hours in line for Star Wars toys. Really? Are we really pushing it now? And we felt that we were. And I remember Kim saying to us, like, you guys should just go. Go have fun. Go yeah. do it. And let's just say we get on the highway, we go there, we get to Toys R Us, and it was absolutely the best thing we've ever done. It's probably one of the highlight moments. Uh, if I have top 20, you know, 20 moments in my life, that's definitely one of them in there. So we get to Toys R Us, we, sit, we walked in, we talked to the manager, we said, where can we sit, where can we line up? And she's just like, outside. Yeah, that was, that was I know, weird. Right? No, she's, she's like, outside. And it's a beautiful sunny day, it's like another hour and a half before they even close the store. We get outside, there's nobody out there, and we're like, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we, what are do we, do what are we doing, doing with, our, with lives? our lives? And here, let me tell a quick story. Sure. I sit down on the, like, this really nice blanket. And we we have this out of the back of the car, stuff we used to go to the park usually. Yeah, it looks so fancy. And he's like, let me go get water. So he goes in the truck, he's gone. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. What, what happened? I, what I didn't realize is from a distance, I look like a homeless guy. Yeah. And I, have, like, I had something in my teeth. Yeah. Like a big piece of foam from earlier. Yeah. A little girl and a mom comes out and they walk right over to this. And she goes, mommy, he's homeless. I go, I'm not homeless. I was like shit in my teeth. I look like I haven't brushed my teeth forever. And the mom goes, let's go, honey. And they were like basically ran off. And I'm like, no, it's for Star Wars. And she's like, let's go. So we got to talk about the experience sitting in front of this Toys R Us on this blanket, just me and Jay. So silly. Nobody had even shown up. And people are driving by and they all are staring like, what are these guys doing? And we're waving at everybody because like, they're like so curious. We're like, hey, how's it going? Oh, and then you, you go, what are you, and the window comes out, what are you doing? And you go, Barbie. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, what are you lining up for? We're like, Barbie, he's got synthetic hair. Yeah, I, said, yeah, yeah. I said, I already bought the comb. <laughs> yeah, they're like, the comb. They're like driving yeah, off. It was and silly, it was you silly. Know? Oh, you got a good one for later on. Oh. Wait, so what ends up happening is, people start showing up behind us. Yeah. And there was a really good group of people behind us. There was, was this awesome. amazing mother, you oh, know, amazing mother. A, you know, you look at somebody like this, and she had a really young, like he was a Demeter. nine, he was oh, like nine. He, he, yeah. Yeah, and he was, they were all so polite. And yeah. it was just like so magical to see somebody like taking care of their son so well. Yeah, yeah, she brought her son. He was like eight years old. Yeah, And, and was, she was like, yeah, we go to all the midnight launches. And I was like, what an amazing mom. And he was so excited. Yeah. It was, it was cra And it, that was the best part of yeah, seeing Yeah, he, he was, was like, dressed up as Anakin and yeah. all of that. And she did her hair like Ray. I mean, what an amazing yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. You know, and so we started telling everybody in the line and we were, we were the only people in that lineup for a long time. Then every, we got another hundred people around the yeah. thing. And the manager of the store comes out and he's like, oh yeah, I don't think that many people show up. There won't be that many kids. Oh and all. yeah, really? Yeah, bullshit. There was tons of kids and tons of people. It got, and all of a sudden we're like, yeah, we're first in line. And I, probably about one hour before, it's like, yeah, this is pretty freaking cool. It was amazing. This lineup, you know? And so there was some kind of uh, fucking, what would you even call them? Like jocks, fucking loser guys. Oh, I got them good. They, yeah, they come by so and good. just like, 
the sports car, it's all souped up, making a lot of noise. He rolls the window down, he's like, oh, nerds or something. And I said, hey, enjoy Fast and the Furious 9. <laughs> and everyone clapped it about like a hundred people. We're like, it was, yeah, it was know. awesome. It's it was so, funny. It's so funny. We're not the stereotypical nerdy. Yeah, like, we love this hobby, but we don't take shit from anybody. Nobody's gonna. Yeah, we're first in line, and we we were the kind of like. Not the leaders, but we were first, so it was like we had to cover the whole line, and we yeah, it was, it was just like get out of here, you jock, <laughs> you fucking yeah. jerk, was, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking so funny using that terminology. But then all of a sudden, there's about half an hour before it's twelve o'clock, and we're let in, and all of a sudden the doors open, and Darth Vader and <laughs> Kylo Ren and a pure, pure like a, an amazing stormtrooper come out and start taking photos with everybody, and then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, we start getting so giddy and so oh. stupid. Oh, we started doing stupid lines from the movie. Yeah, like, yeah. like, maybe we should use a clone army <laughs> for no reason. No reason. I know. And you were like, hey, Chewie. Hey, Chewie, yeah, fuck me in the phone. <laughs> yes. I know, we're just so stupid. It was so. But we had such a really good time. It wasn't really even about the toys at that point. No. It was about sharing the fandom and our love for Star Wars. We are crazy Star Wars fans. It's like, I, I, it's hard I to basically say. came down to Vancouver pretty much for that. For these dates yeah. to do this. Yeah. That's it all, how it all lined up because you were out here anyways. Yeah. It all lined up perfectly and uh, we had such a good time and then the Stormtrooper guy came oh, up to me. So ridiculous. It's so crazy. What a weird small world. He came up to me and he's like, hey, I really like your show. I'm like, what? I I, but he, the kicker he, is he had the thing on, and it was going through the sound effects. So it was like a, a real stormtrooper watch your show. It was, it was like, what? I know. It's like, what a small what is world. What's happening there? So you watch the show. Hello, Guido, yeah. That's absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. <laughs> You're just here having fun, and that's, that's totally awesome. So there's 10 minutes to go. I'm looking in. I'm getting excited. I'm like, oh my god, we're going to get in there. What's going to be in this Toys R Us, you know? Finally, the doors open. I walk in, I'm the first in line, and there are all the girls, oh, what size are you? They're yeah. high-fiving me and stuff, and we end up getting this bag. We got a bag each for being uh, like the first in line. You end up, I'll just show you guys this. Um, you end up getting a poster. These are the new walkers from the new movie, which is pretty cool. Um, hey, last year's lightsaber that they couldn't sell. <laughs> this from Rebels going on here, for sure. Too funny. A little... Yeah, little, a little Lego yes. um, R2D2, which is cool. I put mine together. Yeah. And then this is the we. we this is the thing I want to say. We love these things. Yeah, we love the ports. First we, of all, we got these at the Disney store the next day. The next day. Next morning. So that's how we have these. Well, you know, they didn't have them that night. No, nothing like that but at all. We were hoping because we heard T-shirts. Yeah. Please have the porgs. This is what we got. We got, kind of got a t-shirt with a porg on. It has a, it has, you can open that up. You want me to open it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. It has a porg on it, but. But they're the bobbleheads. It's bobbleheads. We're not in a huge porg, bobble. So I don't want a bobblehead shirt. Yeah, it's. Fuck that. It's, it's, it's not okay. bad though. It's, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's whatever. It's whatever, Chewy. Hey. Hey, fuck me in the Falcon, Chewy. <laughs> and then a, a gift certificate, for, uh, get 10% off, sorry, and all that. So that but wasn't bad. That was kind of fun. I was going to say, that's pretty good for free. For free. We ain't complaining. And we're Star Wars fans. Yeah, it was just pretty good. You caught in the hype and then yep. we just walked in and here's the thing that was good last year uh or sorry the year before that two years ago for the force awakens it was a gong show we i i'd I walk down i didn't go in but everybody who'd gone in some scalpers had run oh, in horrible. and just stolen they were throwing oh. everything to each other all the lego sets and all that putting in these big shopping carts and buying everything and everybody was so upset so the great thing is you talk to the manager and what did you twice. say yeah twice. well he comes out and he goes i got it i've got it he's like hey chewy i got it under control <laughs> and i'm like no you don't yeah and i explained to him this is what's going to happen if you don't let us in in sections yeah and he was by the way shout out to him cool enough to let us in in groups of 10. Yes. And he gave us like a minute or two to kind of go to the section, see what we wanted, get it. And there was, you know, there's kids there too. And yeah, that's, that was... and that's the thing is, we were the first in line, we got in, and the kids were behind us. Yeah. And you know, when they, when he came in, I said, hey, look, here's Luke, here's this, and yeah. give him first dibs. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not there to go, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, yeah, we're there for the fun of it, yeah. and we were calm, collected. Everybody, that first ten group of people was totally fine. Yeah. Everybody selected a little few things, and we know we didn't and go. Nobody crazy. went nuts. Nobody That's what I mean. Nobody was like carts dumping shit. 
It was oh. it was good. It was yeah. like really cool, and it was cool. There was another guy there. It was the same age as, yeah, as well, us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, he was uh, kind of like us, but he had a son, which yeah. was special, and he was trying to bond and do this thing with his son. Mm. And they were bonding and getting toys. It was so it was just crazy. You felt like you just had all these friends at the end, and it just you had, you'd shared this love of Star Wars, and it was really cool. And yeah, we came out of there and we had a great time. And obviously, let's show some of the things uh, I picked up. I uh, picked up a Luke and a an array here. That was, uh, that's from earlier in the day, I snagged those, and, you know, obviously Finn and Kylo. Just wanted to get the, the basic figures there, which was, made me pretty happy. And here we go, here's the Canto Bite uh, police. This is a Canto Bite, I'm not going to say what it is in the movie, but it's kind of like a cloud car from Cloud City from Empire Strikes Back. You know, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm guessing it's coming. <laughs> we haven't like even that. seen the movie. We haven't seen the movie. We're taking look, a look. look. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so happy about that. And here is the cool one. This is the one I want to get. Kylo Ren's Silencer. This is his very own custom TIE Fighter in the film. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. Like, very, very awesome. I love that. And me, personally, huge fan of Lego. So I decided to get the Lego version. Yeah, of this, that. the Silencer. And it's really nice. Like, look at the back of that thing. It's really, really, really fancy. It comes with some figures that are exclusive to this so very cool very, very cool. cool and then very cool. kind of the highlight from the Disney store the next day we we got up early the next day we went to the Disney store and this is what we bought we didn't buy anything else we bought this yeah. and it's so funny silly so funny Kim was uh, at her friends that night and <laughs> and we were we were out and she came home to have a nap the next day and I had this in the bed and she just saw like two feet sticking out of the bed and she said what the fuck is that? <laughs> she you know? thought it was like a bird we yeah. killed or something. Yeah and these are like the bird puffin penguin creatures from the uh, island this is, that Luke is on yeah, in the next is... film. and. These things are either going to be absolutely amazing or absolutely <laughs> fucking annoying. Or we're going to be roasting these on a fire next year. Yeah, exactly. I will have them in a little pitchfork or something like that. But yeah, anyways, guys, we just wanted to come in and talk about and tell you our little fun, you know, Star Wars quest day that we had. It was a lot of fun. Crazy. And we really made this video for, for ourselves, yeah. really, that we can always remember the fun we had and some of the people we saw in the lineups and... It was a really, really great day, and hopefully The Last Jedi is a good film that lives up to this kind of hype. We can at least say this, we tried. <laughs> yeah, we sucks. tried. Yeah, we tried, man. You can't beat us down uh, for, for not trying. So, anyways, guys, until next time.